So it is day two of this video series. When I say day two, it is the Tuesday. So we started on a Sunday. I'm only gonna be hitting uh, these uh, running workouts three times a week though. Two shorter ones during the week and a longer one on the weekend, if time allows. Sometimes I have to rearrange that schedule. But so I don't have to run for so many miles in preparation for the ultra marathon, being a larger athlete, it is easier for us to get injured. That repetitive strain on the knees, on the connective tissue, on the joints can take its toll when you're a little bit heavier. You know, if you're 220 pounds over somebody that's 150 pounds, obviously that re repetitive cadence is going to take its toll on your joints, i.e. your hips and your knees and lower back. So what I like to do, which is exactly what I'm doing today, is go through an entire tough, hard, intense leg workouts before going out on my run. Now, sometimes I'll do some intervals, sometimes I'll go out for a longer trail run, sometimes I'll do those intervals on the trail. Regardless, once I've done my leg workout before, it equates to what would be many more miles actually on the trail. So if I pre-fatigue my legs first, get them exhausted, get them tired, and let's say if I go out for a 45 minute run, it honestly feels like it's the equivalent of say a two and a half hour run because my legs are so fatigued. So on the day of the ultra marathon, I'm hoping, well I'm very positive that uh, you know it won't be so hard because I'm so used to running on fatigued legs and after about 20 miles on that ultra marathon, especially in snow, because the event is called the Frozen 50, uh, which generally in a lot of snow or ice or both, um, it will feel quite normal for me, so that is the idea. So we're gonna go through an entire leg workout. I'm gonna start off with leg extensions, go into some compound movements such as squats, leg press, hack squats, etc., and uh, hit a bit of carbs as well, and then uh, go out for that run after I've had my re-cage. So as soon as I've had uh, my workout done, I'll get my re-caged in me, have my branch chain amino acids, then go out for my run. And in my pack, I will have my fermented glutamine, my fermented BCAAs, and uh, hypercharge. All right, I'm halfway through my run here, and uh, it's not going well at all. My chest, my asthma is so bad. My chest is so tight. Um, I was in LA over the weekend, and my chest was fine. And I come back, two days here, straight into a run. Chest is absolutely knackered, and I know exactly what it is. It's the cat, and I'm uh, highly allergic to it. And basically, we have to vacuum the place every single day, brush the cat every single day, and uh, it still doesn't help that much. It helps a little, but uh, I'm in a hell of a mess. So it's unfortunate because this is today's workout, guys. This is what you need to be following, and I'm following it as uh, good as I can. I want you to warm up for about a mile, and then I want you to do 10 intervals, uh, sorry, four intervals of 10 minutes. So what you're gonna do is hit a tempo run, so a decent paced run for 10 minutes. And then you're gonna recover either by walking like I am or jogging very, very slowly for three, sorry, three to four minutes. Then you're gonna repeat it again. And you're gonna do that four times in total. Okay, so there's 40 minutes of just intervals with your rest periods, you've got about 15 minutes there, so that's about 55, and then you've got a, a, a mile to warm up. You don't really need a cool down because your three minute, four minute recovery is gonna be like a cool down. Just make sure that you stretch a little bit. If your legs do get a little bit tight, have an ice bath. It's freezing cold out here. Got my mittens on, don't really feel like an ice bath. My legs should be okay, but I, you know, obviously just come straight from the gym hit a hard leg workout, came out. It was still dark when I started running, but it got light pretty quick. And I'm almost done, and I'll be home before nine o'clock. Uh, showered and eaten and fueled up and ready to work for the day. So straight after my workout, I had my re-caged. Obviously I had pre-caged before, had re-caged straight after with an extra scoop of BCAAs. And in my hydration pack here, 
I have hydrocharge, fermented glutamine, and fermented branch chain amino acids. Because remember, even though we're getting ready for an ultra marathon here, we're trying to maintain, if not build muscle. The only way that we can look like a bodybuilder while completing this journey is by supplementing and eating like one and uh, making sure that we stay in an anti-catabolic state, even when we're hitting these runs. So that's how I was able to do the Ironman this year and put on muscle and lose body fat at the same time. A lot of people said it can't be done, but the thing is a lot of those people have probably never tried it or even opened or broken down that impossibility and turned it into a possibility. Now, I am four weeks out for the ultra marathon, but keep in mind, guys, I've been doing this a little bit of trail running three times a week now for the past two months. So after the Ironman, I didn't do any running. Uh, I did an Ironman in August, at the end of August. Then uh, through September, I didn't do any running. And then October, I started picking up a little bit of trail running here. So I've been doing this for a couple of months. So, uh, you know, even though you know, the program may look like a lot in the beginning, possibly to some of you, to some of you bodybuilders. It's pretty much about the same as what I've been doing the past couple of months. I haven't really changed it that much in regards to the time that I spend out here. Only on the Sundays, I've increased the duration every now and again, like once every four or five workouts or once every four or five weekends. I've just done it up a little bit higher where I've done like 13, 14 miles. One of the sessions was 20 miles and that was only because I wanted to go around some of the course where this ultra marathon is being held just so I could get a visual of it. Took our time, you know, um, just wanted to get as much time out there just to get get through the mental barriers that can kind of block you sometimes. Anyway, my hand is freezing off. I've been talking four minutes. I gotta start my interval again.